In this video, I'm looking at the process of addition, though of course addition and subtraction are closely related because subtraction is the inverse of addition. So for example, because 740 plus 260 equals 1000, then 1000 subtract 740 must be equal to 260. They are inverse operations. The children can use their knowledge of number facts, such as a 9 add 8 equals 17, to find related facts, such as 39 add 8 must be 47, or 99 add 8 must be 107, 90 add 80 must be 170, and so on. They will still work on operations involving two-digit or three-digit numbers, and they will continue setting numbers out in columns. They can simply use their knowledge of number bonds and their understanding of place value. That's the ones or units column, the tens column, the hundreds column. Nine add eight is 17, so a seven there, and what we sometimes call a carrying one down there, very small. Four add seven is 11 tens, four tens and seven tens is 11 tens. One more 10, that's 12 tens. So we leave two in the tens and take one to the hundreds. It still says 12 tens, but it's 102 tens. Six hundreds add three hundreds is nine hundreds. One more hundred gives us ten hundreds, so obviously we've got a thousand. So one thousand and twenty-seven. Using these skills, they're able to move on to larger numbers, including numbers with more than four digits. 37,146 plus 28,491. Six add one is seven. Four tens and nine tens, that's 13 tens. Hundreds now. One and four is five and one makes six. Thousands. Seven add eight is 15. Ten thousands, three, four, five, six, sixty-five thousand, six hundred and thirty-seven. They're also able to move on to smaller numbers involving decimals. Looking at questions such as seven point one plus three point two five, they will know how to use columns to find the answer. So seven point one plus three point two five, and hopefully they'll know that. The seven are seven units, the three are three units. I always advise children, keep your units in line, keep the decimal points in line. And so 7.1, that's one tenth and two tenths, so they're shown there. And those are five in the hundredths column. Now, some people like to put a zero in there. It's not strictly necessary, but it can be done. So let's put it in this time. It doesn't have to be there. Adding the hundredths first then, zero at five is five. Adding the tenths, one at two is three. Adding the units, seven at three is 10. So clearly we've got zero in the units and one in the tens column. So the answer is 10.35. The children need lots of practice, but confidence in knowing how to find the answers is the key to mathematical success.